Hello, food travelers. In the maze of Indonesia's gastronomic grandeur, a humble jewel shines bright. Nasi Kuching. Born in central Java's bustling cities of Yogyakarta, Semarang, and Surakarta, this tiny marvel has won over taste buds across the archipelago. Nasi Kuching, an intriguing moniker that conjures images of a meal so precise in its portioning, it's likened to a beloved cat serving. Yet the explosion of taste it delivers surpasses its size, making it a stalwart of Indonesian street food. At its heart, Nasi Kuching is a modest ensemble of tastes and textures. A modest mound of rice, hand-sized, lays the groundwork. It's the toppings, though, that catapult this dish to gastronomic glory. Sambal, the fiery Indonesian chili paste, melds seamlessly with the umami of dried fish and earthy tempeh. The flavor symphony is amplified with additions like egg, chicken, and cucumber, allowing for a tailor-made experience for every palate. But Nasi Kuching's true charm is in its packaging. Each portion is carefully enveloped in a banana leaf, a salute to Indonesia's culinary history and a sustainable packaging solution. Within this organic casing, the flavors blend and deepen, offering a sensory voyage with each unwrapping. With Nasi Kuching winning over food lovers across Indonesia, a larger relative has emerged, Sega Matyan, Tiger's Rice. Triple the size of its petite kin, Sega Matyan offers a more substantial feast with roasted rice, dried fish and vegetables, all while upholding tradition, served with respect in a banana leaf shell. From Jakarta's lively streets to the far-off lands of Mecca, where Indonesian pilgrims share a sliver of home during the Hajj, Nasi Kuching is a symbol of the potency of simplicity and creativity in the culinary arts. Beneath its modest exterior is a universe of flavor, a tribute to the vibrant tapestry of Indonesian cuisine. So when you next cross paths with this little wonder, look past its size, for within it resides a world of taste ready to be discovered.